the Texas Department of Transportation, TxDOT, Houston District would like to welcome you to this virtual public hearing with in-person open house. This presentation will provide information on the proposed Farm to Market FM 1375 project from FM 149 to the Walker County line in Montgomery County, Texas. Due to the proximity of the proposed project to the Sam Houston National Forest, SHNF, this public hearing is required in accordance with Chapter 26 of the Texas Parks and Wildlife Code and Section 4F of the Department of Transportation Act of 1966. This is a pre-recorded presentation. My name is Sarah Cum, and I am part of the project team. I would like to thank you for participating in this public hearing. During the virtual presentation, you may pause the video and navigate forward or backward using your video player. If you experience technical difficulties with the online materials, please call Gabriel Adame at 713-802-5199. You may also request special accommodation assistance accessing public hearing information and materials and language interpretation needs other than English and Spanish. The methods for submitting a comment on the project will be explained at the end of this presentation. This virtual public hearing is being held in conjunction with an in-person open house, which will be held on Thursday, February 29, 2024, from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Lone Star Community Center, located at 2500 Lone Star Parkway in Montgomery, Texas. The information presented in the virtual public hearing and the in-person open house is identical, and the opportunities to comment do not differ. The purpose of this public hearing is to engage with stakeholders and the adjacent communities regarding the proposed project and to receive feedback. It also offers an opportunity for the project team to address any questions or concerns from the public. TxDOT commits to purposefully involve the public in planning and project implementation by providing for early, continuous, transparent, and effective access to information and decision-making processes. The FM1375 project is programmed to be federally funded. Due to the project receiving federal funds, TxDOT is required to assess the potential environmental effects of the proposed project. The process that is followed is called the National Environmental Policy Act process, otherwise known as NEPA. The NEPA process provides analyses of the potential impacts to the natural and man-made environments and helps to inform the decision makers on whether or not to proceed with the project. On December 9, 2019, TxDOT received a signed Memorandum of Understanding from the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, that permits TxDOT to assume responsibility from the FHWA for reviewing and approving certain assigned NEPA projects. This review and approval process applies to this project. In this presentation, I will describe the proposed project, provide an overview of the environmental studies being performed, explain TxDOT's special use permit conversion to a DOT easement, walk through the next steps of the project development process, and outline the methods for submitting comments. TxDOT has provided multiple notification methods for this public hearing. The elected official letters were mailed and emailed on January 30, 2024. The notice and environmental technical reports were published on the TxDOT webpage on January 26, 2024. Notices in both English and Spanish were mailed to adjacent property owners on January 26, 2024, as well as to nearby residences and local community facilities on February 9, 2024. The notice was published in the Montgomery County newspaper in English and Spanish for three consecutive weeks on February 7, 14, and 21, 2024. The notice was also published in the Conroe Courier on February 18, 2024, and the Navasota Examiner and Walker County Press on February 14, 2024. Approximately 2,700 bilingual postcards were sent to mail routes in zip codes 77356, 77873, and 77358 that are adjacent to the project the week of February 5, 2024. Project information flyers in English and Spanish were distributed to local community facilities during the week of February 5, 2024. 
TxDOT advertised the hearing on roadside changeable message signs beginning the week of February 12, 2024, and advertised on TxDOT social media beginning the week of February 12, 2024. Materials such as maps, drawings, and other informational documents were posted on the TxDOT webpage on February 27, 2024. Let's now talk about the project area. The proposed project is located on FM 1375 from FM 149 to the Walker County line in Montgomery County, Texas. The area is predominantly rural with scattered residences. FM 1375 was constructed on a special use permit granted to TxDOT by the U.S. Forest Service in 1959. The special use permit allows TxDOT to maintain the existing roadway within the boundaries of the Sam Houston National Forest. We'll talk a little more about this on the next slide. In June of 1959, the U.S. Department of Agriculture Forest Service granted a special use permit allowing TxDOT to construct FM 1375 through the Sam Houston National Forest. Coordination between the National Forests and Grasslands of Texas, NFGT, and TxDOT began in December of 2022 to discuss who would be the lead federal agency for the currently proposed improvements to FM 1375. In May of 2023, TxDOT coordinated with the FHWA and the NFGT to lay out the procedure for the FHWA to issue a letter of consent for the conversion of the special use permit area to a DOT easement. Currently, the TxDOT right-of-way team is assembling the federal land transfer package for submittal to the FHWA, and coordination is ongoing between TxDOT and the NFGT. This federal land transfer would allow TxDOT to proceed with this project as a lead federal agency. Currently, FM 1375 is a narrow two-lane roadway with one 10-foot wide lane in each direction and lacks adequately sized shoulders for motorists to use for turning or stopping. These characteristics do not meet current roadway design standards and increase the risk for crashes. Additionally, the bridge over Caney Creek and the culvert over Green Branch have met their design life expectancy. The purpose of the project is to address aging infrastructure and to improve safety. Shown on your screen is an illustration of an existing typical section of the roadway. A typical section is a cross-section of the road how it looks today. As we discussed previously, the existing FM 1375 roadway currently consists of two 10-foot wide travel lanes with one lane in each direction, one foot wide outside shoulders, and open drainage ditches. The special use permit area is variable throughout the project limits but has a maximum width of 340 feet at the bridge over Caning Creek and within the floodplain. There are no sidewalks or bicycle accommodations within the existing project area. Now let's walk through the proposed improvements. Shown on your screen is an illustration of a proposed typical section of the roadway. This typical section is a cross section of how the road would look once the proposed improvements have been completed. The proposed project would widen the existing travel lanes to 12 foot wide and provide 5 foot wide outside shoulders on both sides of the roadway with open ditches. No right-of-way acquisition or displacements are anticipated. The proposed improvements would also include one bridge replacement over Caney Creek and one bridge class culvert replacement over Green Branch, which we will discuss next. Shown on your screen is an illustration of the existing typical section of the bridge over Caney Creek how it looks today. The bridge over Caney Creek does not meet current design standards. The existing bridge over Caney Creek currently consists of two 10-foot wide travel lanes with one lane in each direction and one foot wide outside shoulders. The special use permit area is variable throughout the project limits but has a maximum width of 340 feet at the bridge over Caney Creek and within the floodplain. There are no sidewalks or bicycle accommodations within the existing project area. Shown on your screen is an illustration of the proposed typical section of the bridge over Caney Creek. This typical section is a cross section of how the bridge would look once the proposed improvements have been completed. The proposed bridge over Caney Creek would consist of two 12 foot wide travel lanes with one lane in each direction and eight foot wide outside shoulders. The proposed improvements would also include one bridge class culvert replacement over Green Branch. The construction of the bridge would occur in phases as to allow through traffic to continue during the duration of construction. 
The drainage analysis showed a need to widen and deepen the existing roadside ditches to accommodate the additional runoff from the widened roadway. There would be improvements to the cross culverts due to the required traffic controls and the roadway widening. There would be a slight realignment of the roadway over Caney Creek and the bridge class culvert replacement at Green Branch to prevent a road closure and detour during construction. These proposed improvements would result in the removal of approximately 5.4 acres of trees from sections of the special use permit area. Tree removal efforts would be coordinated with the United States Forest Service and minimized to the greatest extent possible. The tree removal areas and acreage of trees to be removed from each area are shown on the schematic which is available both online and at the in-person open house. Here's a screenshot of the legend on the schematics. The legend is included on each page of the schematics so you can reference it as you review them. The screenshot shows the colors that fill the proposed design. These colors identify the limits and major aspects of the project. Let's walk through them. The existing right-of-way is shown as a purple dashed line. The existing pavement is shown in teal shading and proposed widening is shown in gray shading. Proposed tree removal areas are shown in burnt orange shading. Here is a detailed look at a portion of the schematic or design drawing of the project. This slide shows FM 1375 where it meets FM 149 on the western edge of the project limits. A full version of the project schematic can be downloaded from the project website and will be available for viewing at the in-person public hearing. The project team has evaluated the potential environmental impacts that could occur as a result of constructing the proposed project. Areas that were reviewed include archaeological resources, biological resources, historical resources, water resources, hazardous materials, and land use and parkland. The project would be designed to avoid or minimize impacts to the greatest amount practicable. Technical reports documenting the analysis and conclusions of these studies are available on the TxDOT webpage and at the in-person event, but let's walk through the findings. An archaeological background study was completed for the proposed project to identify risks for archaeological resources and cemeteries. The study recommended an archaeological survey of the entire project limits and mechanical trenching at Caney Creek. Archaeologists are currently conducting a surface survey of the project area, supplemented by shovel testing and mechanical trenching. Three previously recorded archaeological sites overlap the project area, so these sites were revisited to determine if any associated materials would be found within the boundaries of this project. No archaeological materials associated with any of the sites were found within the boundaries of the proposed improvements. One new pre-contact archaeological site was recorded within the project area, and the site was recommended ineligible for listing in the National Register of Historic Places. The survey is to be completed in the first quarter of 2024, and a recommendation will be made on whether the project would have any impacts on archaeological historic properties and or state antiquities landmarks. The survey will be submitted to Texas Historical Commission for review and concurrence. Investigations for biological resources were conducted within the project corridor. Biological resource studies include evaluating potential impacts to vegetation, wildlife habitat, and threatened and endangered species. The project area contains suitable habitat and is within range of federally and state listed species and species of greatest conservation need. The project falls within Management Area 2 for endangered red cockaded woodpecker emphasis zones. Based on the current project design, approximately 5.4 acres of tree clearing within the special use permit area would be required during construction. Therefore, TxDOT conducted a basal area survey of the proposed project. The basal area gives us an overall picture of how much of an area is covered in trees, typically measured in square feet per acre. The removal of approximately 5.4 acres of trees along the edge of FM 1375 would not impact any known or surveyed nesting clusters of the red cockaded woodpecker, and the density of the remaining trees is sufficient to support the breeding and foraging needs of this species, thus allowing TxDOT to consult with the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, USFWS, under the programmatic agreement for this species. Habitat for the tricolored bat may potentially be impacted in the floodplain segment between Caney Creek and Green Branch, as they prefer hardwoods over pines. 
Habitat for the alligator snapping turtle may potentially be impacted in the floodplain segment between Caney Creek and Green Branch as these streams may provide a suitable travel corridor and the riparian forest may provide suitable nesting habitat. A biological evaluation would be prepared to evaluate potential impacts to the tricolored bat and the alligator snapping turtle from tree clearing within the floodplain between Caney Creek and Green Branch due to the replacement of the bridge over Caney Creek and the realignment of FM 1375 through this segment. The project is not likely to adversely affect or impact the listed species or their habitats and informal consultation with the service would be initiated. Bald eagles are known to nest in the area. A presence absence survey conducted on December 8, 2022 found no bald eagle nests in any of the trees anticipated to be removed as a result of this project. A final presence absence survey for bald eagles and their nests would be conducted prior to construction. No historic age resources constructed prior to 1978 were identified in the study area and no districts or properties are recommended eligible for listing in the National Register of Historic Places. Therefore, no adverse effects to historic age resources would occur. Fifteen water crossings were identified within the project corridor. The proposed project work is anticipated to be covered under a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers or USACE Nationwide Permit 14 for linear transportation projects. The proposed impacts are anticipated to fall below the thresholds to trigger mitigation, however the USACE has final authority over mitigation requirements. A hazardous materials initial site assessment was completed to determine the potential for encountering hazardous substances or contamination within the vicinity of the proposed project. No unresolved hazardous materials concerns were identified, and all potential concerns within the proposed project area were resolved. Any unanticipated hazardous materials impacts encountered during the project construction phase shall be addressed in accordance with regulatory requirements and TxDOT standard specifications. The proposed FM1375 project area is located adjacent to large parcels of undeveloped Piney Woods Forest within the SHNF and includes sparse residential areas. The Sam Houston National Forest is classified as a publicly owned recreation area and is therefore protected under Section 4F of the Department of Transportation Act of 1966 and under Chapter 26 of the Texas Parks and Wildlife Code. Under these regulations, TxDOT must coordinate with the official with jurisdiction, which in this case is the USDA Forest Service, FS, to determine if the proposed project would adversely affect the activities, features, or attributes qualifying the recreation area for protection under Section 4F. As discussed earlier in this presentation, approximately 5.4 acres of trees would need to be removed within TxDOT's existing special use permit area to accommodate the proposed improvements along FM 1375. Since effects to the forest are anticipated to be minimal, this project would constitute a de minimis use of the property under Section 4F. A Section 4F de minimis finding means that the proposed project would not adversely affect the activities, features, or attributes that qualify the recreation area for protection under Section 4F. TxDOT will consider comments received during the public comment period before making a final Section 4F de minimis determination. The proposed project is federally funded as a maintenance type project to improve the existing roadway. The proposed improvements are exempt from transportation conformity and the project is considered not regionally significant by the Houston Galveston Area Council, also known as the HGAC. Therefore, this project is not listed in HGAC's 2045 Regional Transportation Plan and the 2023 to 2026 State Transportation Improvement Program. The approximate cost of proposed improvements is $10.3 million. No right-of-way would be required for the proposed project. No potential impacts to residential or commercial properties are anticipated. All proposed work would remain within the special use permit area granted to TxDOT by the U.S. Forest Service for the operation of FM 1375. The special use permit area would be converted to a Department of Transportation or DOT easement. This public hearing is being held to present the proposed project, including the proposed design and the associated environmental technical reports, and to gather public and stakeholder input. 
After the comment period closes, the project team will review the comments received, make appropriate design modifications, and prepare the public hearing documentation. The public hearing documentation will be posted to the project webpage when complete. The next steps include refining the design based on comments received from the public and updating the environmental documentation with any design changes as applicable. After the easement is executed, construction is tentatively scheduled to begin in mid-2025. This schedule is approximate and subject to change. The project website contains all materials presented in this public hearing, including this presentation in both English and Spanish, the proposed schematic, exhibit boards, environmental technical reports, a project fact sheet, and a comment card in both English and Spanish. The schematic design provides a more in-depth look at details for the proposed project and is available for viewing at the public hearing. The proposed schematic design files are large and may require more time to download than the other project materials. TechSaw encourages you to review the materials posted on the project website and to provide verbal or written comments. You may submit comments in the following ways. By phone, by calling the public hearing phone line at 713-913-0873 to leave verbal testimony in any language. At the in-person hearing, by filling out a comment card at the public hearing and dropping it in a comment box. Download the comment card from the project webpage at the web address shown on your screen, www.text.gov slash projects slash hearings dash meetings dot html and submit it via email or mail. Email the comment form to hou-pio webmail at text.gov or mail the comment card to text.houston district attention advanced project development director PO Box 1386 Houston, Texas 77251-1386. Comments must be received or postmarked by Friday, March 15, 2024 to be included in the public hearing documentation. Responses to verbal and written comments received during the comment period will be included in the public hearing documentation that will be posted on the project webpage when complete. Lastly, don't hesitate to contact us with any questions at any time during project development. Please feel free to contact Adam Wood, TechStot Environmental Project Manager at the Houston District Office at 713-802-5267 or Micah Schluter, TechStot Design Engineer Project Manager at 936-538-3303 with any questions or comments. Follow us on Twitter for ongoing road closures and construction updates on the Houston District Twitter page. You can also keep up with TechStot News on our Facebook page. Questions and comments can be submitted at any time during the project development process, but comments will only be included as part of the official public hearing documentation if received during the comment period. Thank you for your participation and interest in this project. Please submit comments by Friday, March 15, 2024. This concludes our hearing presentation for the FM 1375 project. November 7, 2000 was the last deathless day on roadways in Texas. That means that for 23 years, at least one person has died every single day. We all have a part to play to change that. This message is that reminder to end the streak of deaths on Texas highways. We need drivers and passengers to act more responsibly and help us reach our goal of zero deaths by 2050. Texans can play a major role in ending fatal crashes with a few simple driving habits. Wear seatbelts, drive the speed limit, put away the phone and other distractions, and never drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs. So please do your part and share this message with your friends and family.